I've been sleeping on this review for the longest time, but finally, I have come around to doing it. This is the Robert Wickens 2018 Lucas Oil Honda. What a beautiful diecast for an extraordinary human being, and this is going to be a great video for you all. Now, this car right here, especially since Robert had his accident almost a year and a half ago at Pocono, this car has been drying up very quickly. They did re-release this car. Like, the original release was long gone soon after the accident at Pocono. It was, the car dried up, and it was nowhere to be seen. Then they re-released it last May, for a limited production run, I believe it's mostly the 118s that are reproduced. I am not too terribly sure about the 164s. But this car was remade, and even the re release is drying up very quickly. So, the only, one of the only places you can get this now is off of DDK Collectibles, off of Amazon. I got this through Amazon, by the way. I actually I ordered it Thursday. I ordered it Wednesday, excuse me, and it showed up yesterday. Literally within a day it showed up from Florida. That's pretty cool. But you could also get it from my buddies over at Gutsware on their eBay page. I probably will link their eBay page in the description of this video if I do so remember to do that. Don't count on me remembering that. So if you don't see one, don't be shocked. But anyways, beautiful car, and i just so excited to review this thing. Let's see, let's go over some details of the box here. This is, comes in the 2018 standard packaging. You know, nothing really too special, except for that it, it's red with, with white with the bricks. Got Robert Wake, it's his name. There's his name with the card and the generic indie card that comes with it. You can pause the video anytime to review some of the little facts about him. This is the back of the packaging. And not much to it. But anyways, I'm going to cut the video now, and let's take the sucker out and review the die cast. Alright, it is now finally out of the, of the packaging, and here she is, right in front of you, is the Robert Wiggins Lucas Oil car. Be beautiful looking car. This car, it looks matte on the camera, but it is actually glossy, believe it or not. I, I, I always, well, I didn't think it was matte anyways, but it looked matte when I took it out of the packaging. It is just stunning. This car right here is beautiful. I mean, it's, it's well worth the hunt, people, let me tell you that. Let's see, here's the car it comes with. As you guys said before, you can pause it at any time to review some of the stats about Robert. Oh, there we go. There we go. But here's the car right here in front of you. And like I said, they did a stunning job with this sucker. Let's say, let's get let's show this thing in full beauty here. Absolutely gorgeous. This car is one of my personal favorites from 2018. I'm so glad I finally picked this up. I was sleeping on this for the longest time. I actually have I have a copy of the car. I have one of the cars inside its packaging, and it's in the uh, storage bins. I have it. I did not sleep on actually collecting the car. I just slept on reviewing it. Oh, by the way, a very low didn't a very low production number on this car. It is production number 37 out of probably God knows how many they made of these. And yet this thing is drying up in a heartbeat. This thing is really drying up, people. Like if you if you've been sleeping on this car, if you have not picked it up yet, stop what you're doing and uh, go pick it up because once it's gone, it's gone. And these things dry up like, like they could produce. I mean, this is the the, the Indy car diecast business is a very niche market. And uh, you know, Indy car, you know, it, it, it's something totally different. They could make two thousand or fifteen hundred of the Connor Daly U.S. Air Force cars, and at the end of the year, it's gone. Like, good luck finding it. They can make 2,000 of the Alexander Rossi 118 Napa cars. Good luck finding those. They're making, again, again like 1,500, 2,000 new automation cars this year. Get it while it's hot. Because it, once it's gone, it is gone. And this car is going. Like, it's going to be gone in a little bit. Like, 
pretty soon you're going to see all the scalpers putting this car up on sale. So pick it up while you can. I literally, how many times am I going to stress that in this video here if you're not picked it up already? You are missing out here. Let's see, we got Schmidt Peterson Motorsports, Delara, Verizon IndyCar Series, Honda. Got number six, Arrow, Lucas Oil. And we got Firestone. Got Robert Wickens' name on the name rail. Firestone. Lucas Oil. Let's see, put that down there. Zoom in on the... Uh... Let's see, oh, it's focusing on that. Let's take that out of there. Green Lake Collectibles literally sponsored this car. Number six, Verizon IndyCar Series. New Era. P1 Verizon, Firestone. Some of those sponsors I can't read, sorry. Aero. Honda. Ooh, the number six decal's a little screwy. Got the Firestone tires. And number six put on perfectly. Got Lucas Oil on the rear wing. The signified that the rookies in IndyCar, they put a yellow stripe around the gearbox. That is a pretty cool feature. My God, this thing is beautiful. Also notice they put um, yellow on the roll hoop too. Well, I guess that's just for Wiccans, I think. I don't know if that's for the rest of the rookies. I can't really determine that because what well, the cars do I have from 2018 that are rookies? Not really too many, I must say. But, um, delivery itself, stunning. What's really stunning about this car, pretty much the same livery as Hinchcliffe. They got a whole bunch of red stripes on the side pods. Or on the, or kind of surrounding the tub. Whatever you call that area. And, it looks stunning. That is beautiful. Coming right, right by the air flick, and it's hiding right behind the air flick here. You can see a red stripe underneath the Lucas logo. Wing plates are colored red, or red and black. Wing is colored black. The no, the tub of the car is all colored red. The engine cover is red. The name rails are red. The whole tub is pretty much red. And the air flick is black. The wing itself is black. I mean, stunningly beautiful. I am so happy I picked this up. They did a phenomenal job with this car. You know what? Let's say, you know, if you, if you have not bought this car yet, and if you haven't clicked off the video already to purchase it, I will not be offended if you click off the video and go to purchase it right now. I will not take offense for the the viewership time lost and you get quit into buying this diecast. <laughs> that is a given. 360 view. Here's the right side. There's the back of the car. Here's the top of the car. And here's the floor of the car. Alrighty. With that being said, I genuinely hope that this is not the only Robert Wickens car produced. They promised him a ride when he gets fully recovered. That may take years from now. But I'm hoping that with this guy's dedication and hard work, that he will be back in a car very, very soon. Get well, Mr. Wickens. Comment, like, and subscribe. And this is Race Day 12, reminding you to join the fight to stop bullying. It does get better. Diecast Kid is always happy to see you.